Hello everyone, uh, this is Ken Movie of Chapter 3 uh, that we continue from the first movie. The first movie we uh, finished or we stop by this slide. Okay, this slide this is a properties of demand curve. The property the property of demand curve says that or state that as the price of goods or services goes down the quality demanded for that goods the quantity demanded for that good that consumer wish to buy will increase okay so uh, this is uh, the change in price so go up or go down is about changing increase or decrease or also, uh, also about changing okay so based on this one, when the price of goods goes down, goes down I mean cheaper, cheaper. So quantity demanded will be increased. Increased I mean you can uh, consumer wish to buy more. Okay. Uh, this is not only that that uh, direction. It could be sometimes not goes down. Sometimes it could be goes up. Not goes down, not goes up. Goes up become more expensive. So when the price of goods that consumer wish to buy become more expensive, consumer wish to buy less. They wish to buy less. That's why this is a uh, the property demand curve. You can see the property demand curve. Uh, state about a negative relationship between price and quantity demanded. So when the price goes down, goes down, that mean I can say negative. Quantity go up, go up mean positive. And when the price goes up, goes up mean positive, but quantity demanded goes down, goes down negative. Okay, back to previous slide. Two dollar per kilogram, two kilogram per day. Four dollar per kilogram, one kilogram per day. Okay, based on information from this slide, I can uh, say something about this one. So, for example, when the price before price two, consumer will buy a wish to buy two kilogram, and how much they pay? They pay four dollar. How to get four dollar? Four dollar by getting two dollar per kilogram multiplied by uh, two kilograms. That's why per kilogram we divide by kilogram and this is the kilogram we can cancel. That's why we have only four. When the price goes up to four, when the price goes up to four, the quantity demanded down to one okay so how much they pay still four okay but look at the sign from two to four that mean positive increasing right from two to four that mean positive increasing from 2 to 1, that means negative increasing. When talking about sign, this is negative. So, positive multiplied by negative, the result will be negative. That's why. That's why the property of demand curve state about negative relationship between price and quantity demanded. 
price and quantity demanded because plus multiplied by minus the result is minus minus is negative okay so the property of demand curve said said or uh, saying or uh, stating about the negative relationship between the price of good and quantities demanded for that good because of a negative relationship when we draw a graph the graph is downward sloping with respect to the price or negative slope with respect to the price the property of demand curve is reflect from law demand law demand states that or says that when other factors or other determinants you can check on slide number 48 are being constant or the same constant or the same it means no change price and quantity demanded for any goods services are inversely or negatively related to each other so uh, from this one from this one that one and the last one this is about property or demand curve so when we ha you have property demand curve and you add this condition and you put this condition together with property demand curve together this one together this is law demand okay so far if I ask when I ask when I ask the student what does law of demand or what does law demand states student always most student always saying about this one say about property or demand curve not law demand this is wrong this is wrong because law demand curve come from the property demand curve plus one condition this condition very important if you miss to say something about this condition and you just said about you just saying about uh, property demand curve this is not law demand so law demand come from property demand curve with one condition remember that one okay based on property demand curve we can say about the airport when the price of airport increasing increase from two dollar to four dollar per kilogram the quantity demanded for airport will fall or will decrease from two kilogram to one kilogram it's it explains consumer choice behavior this happens because a consumer has hesitates to spend more for the good with the fear of going out of cash okay so this is it. that's why when the price go when the price up or go up from two dollar to four dollar consumer will or wish to buy uh, wish to buy is decrease from two kilogram to one kilogram okay if they still buy the same two kilogram as before when the price goes up they will pay more money the cash will be go out more that's why consumer don't like to, to pay more that's why they try they will drop down their consumption or they will decrease their consumption when the price go up okay this is the other demand curve but not uh, uh, for from airport this is from pizza they are from Facebook for example the demand curve for pizza tells us when the price of pizza falls cheaper buyers will buyers will buy more slice more slice of pizza not more not buy a whole of pizza but just slice slice okay so based on this one we can see that when the price two dollar two dollar per slice consumers buyer wish to buy sixteen thousand per day sixteen thousand slice per day 16,000 slide per day but when the price go up from two dollar 
per slide to three dollar per slide. Consumer wish to buy less than before, from sixteen thousand to twelve thousand slide per day. And if the price on the YouTube go up from three dollar to four dollar, so consumers wish to buy less than four, from twelve thousand to eight thousand slide per day. Okay. So this is a demand curve for pizza that from the textbook. You can check this one. Okay, question. Why do buyers purchase buy a greater quantity at the lower prices and vice versa? Vice versa it means the opposite. The opposite it means why do buyers purchase less less quantity at the higher price? This is vice versa. The be the opposite uh, statement from the previous one. The previous one is about greater quantity at a lower price so this one should be less quality at higher price so why do you buy more quantities of one good that you want to buy when the price lower or when the price higher you buy less quantity of that goods this is because of three reasons this is because of three reasons those three reasons we call determinants of a downward sloping demand curve you can uh, maybe uh, you can ask the question to the answer is this three reason or you can ask the other question but the, uh, the answer is still the same maybe you can ask the other one why does demand curve negative slope with respect to the price or why is demand curve negative slow with respect to the price? So the answer is only three reasons. The same thing as the question. So you have the different questions, but uh, the answer is the same thing. Why do consumer buy more quantity at the lower price? Or why do consumer buy less quantity at higher price? Because of three reasons. Or why? Uh, so not why. Uh, so here, but why is demand curve negative slow? Why is demand curve negative slow? Because of three reasons. These three reasons we call determinants of negative slope demand curve or downward sloping demand curve. One, substitution effect. Two, income effect. Three, buyer reservation price. Okay, we can go together. Why they buy more when the price is lower, or they buy less when the price is higher? Because of decision effect, because of income effect, because of buyer reservation price. Okay, substitution effect. Sub substitution effect said that the change in the quality demanded for a good or a services caused by a change in price, which results because the good or services becomes more or less expensive relative to the other goods or services. The chain of quality demanded because of the price, chain in the price. Okay, back to our example Apple. When the price goes down, continue and it goes up. That's why it change. So quality demand change because of price change. Or when the price change become more expensive, they buy less. So again, quality demand change drop down or fall because of the price chain by increasing which result that goods that good for example apple become more expensive this is more expensive or less expensive this is less sorry not that this more expensive or less expensive this is quantity this is price 
compare with the other good. The other good may be uh, peas or banana or maybe the other fruit. Because those fruits, the price are not changed. But price of uh, apple change, those price of apple, so the, uh, the fruit of apple become more expensive or less expensive compared with the other fruits uh, that uh, the price have no change. Okay. So when the price of apple increasing compared with the other fruits have no change in price, the apple become more expensive. But if the price of apple drop down compared with other fruit, then uh, the price have no change. So apple become cheaper, that means less expensive. Consumers substitute the higher price goods with the cheaper price goods. Or consumers will consume less the higher price goods, but consume more cheaper price goods. Okay, in this case, when the price of apple become more expensive compared with the other fruit, consumer will buy less apple and they buy more the other fruit. That's why buy less apple, less apple consumption, but get more the other. This is substitution. Consumer substitute apple by the other fruit. They buy less apple and buy more the other fruit. That's why in their basket, in their basket or in their bags is still uh, full of fruit but less apple but more the other fruit. However, when the price of apple become more expensive, uh, more uh, less cheaper, not more less cheaper compared with other fruit, they will buy more apple. If they buy more apple, they buy less the other fruit. So in their basket or in their bag, still full of fruit but more apple, less the other fruit. This is we call substitute. So when, the, when one good become more expensive, more expensive, consumer will buy less and less. This good, because they could become more expensive, and they buy more and more the other goods. The other goods, that good have the same function, the same flavor, or the similar taste to each other. For example, apple and maybe a pear, or apple with the other fruit that's similar to apple. Okay. For example, the other one based on textbook, uh, pizza and burger. Pizza and burger are, are not 100% the same, but a similar test. Or maybe a quite a similar, maybe the same group of food from European, something like this. Okay. For example, when the pizza becomes more expensive, uh, consumer may switch to sandwich, hamb uh, hamburger, or the other fruit that substitute for pizza. Okay, so when pizza become more expensive, so they will change to buy less pizza, buy more sandwich, or buy more hamburger, or buy more other fruits. That those other uh, sorry, other foods, that those all the foods can use for substitute. The pizza. Okay, that means when the pizza become more expensive, quantity demanded for pizza less, quantity demanded for sandwich become more, or hamburger become more, or the other foods become more. However, in their bag or in their basket, still uh, may be full of foods, but just less pizza and more the other. But if the price of pizza become cheaper. They buy more pizza, they buy less the other food. This is because, see, when the price change, when the price change, quantity demanded also change, but change uh, negatively, a negative relationship. That's why substitute buy one more of good, buy less of the other goods, the buy sub substitute. Okay? So this is make a demand curve become negative slope. Negative slope because negative relationship between quantity and price. The other one, income effect. Once again, 
the change in the quantity demanded for a good or services caused by a price, a change in price, which results because of a change in purchasing power. Purchasing power of buyer income. It means that, for example, when the price to the large airport, when the price to the large per kilogram, consumer pay their money to buy two kilogram. That's why they have money to pay, income is money to pay. They spend their income for the large. Okay, they spend their income to for the lab. Two multiplied by two is for the lab. Kilogram here, kilogram there, and sell. Only the lab. So, for the lab, for the lab, their money, the power to buy two kilograms. So, I can say that for the lab has power to buy a pole two kilograms. So the power, purchasing power of four dollar is two kilogram. The purchasing power of four dollar is two kilogram because when the price two kilogram uh, two dollar per kilogram, four dollar can buy two kilogram. That means the power, the purchasing power of four dollar income is two kilogram. Okay. But when the price go to a quantity will be one kilogram. So again, how much they pay? They pay for the lag again. Four multiplied by one. So by now, because of price increasing, become more expensive. Price become more expensive. That's why for the law, the same thing as before, the power, purchasing power is less. For the law right now can buy only one kilogram. Okay. Before two, for the law, the purchasing power of for the law is two kilogram, but right now the purchasing power of for the law is only one kilogram. So Income has less effect. Less effect because less goods or services. Okay, less effect because less goods or services by spending the same income, but less goods or services. That's why less effect. On the other hand, if I saying about when the price increase, or when the, when the price decrease, not increase when the Price decreases or become cheaper, so four dollar has more power. When the price become cheaper from four dollar per kilogram to two dollar uh, two dollar per kilogram, that's why four dollar has more power. So this is income effect. When the price goes up, the buyer's income has less effect. Has less effect. It means less power. Has less purchasing power. If the money uh, is income, buyer's income has less purchasing power. This income can buy less. But when the price goes down, they uh, this income has more power. If has more power, they can buy more. Okay. So you can see when the price goes up. When the price goes up, this is positive. Quality goes down. Goes down, that means negative. Okay. Goes down, that means negative. However, when the price goes down, goes down negative, the quantity goes up. 
see income effect also tell us about relationship between price and quantity that's why when we draw demand curve demand curve is negative slope this is because of income effect okay and the other one okay consumer will buy less goods than before when the when that goods become more expensive or consumers income become less uh, smaller than before smaller what smaller power amount of money is still the same but this amount of money as i said in my drawing four dollar can buy one kilogram but before they could buy two kilogram that's why less than before for example when the price of pizza increases a consumer simply cannot afford to buy as many like us or pizza at high price when at high price okay it means that when the price of pizza are increasing consumers simply cannot afford to buy more if they cannot afford to buy more it means they buy less slime less quantity the other one buy your reservation price buy your reservation price also one reason that explain why is demand curve negative slope you know the word reserve reserve that mean uh, the reserve price the price that you plan to pay if you reserve a table in restaurant that means you call them okay keep one table for me with five members or when we fight it with ten members that's why this table cannot be set by the other customers because you you reserve this because the restaurant owner reserved this table for you that's why reserve it means that you you plan to to get it you plan to do it if you reserve a table in restaurant or if you reserve a ticket the ticket is only for you so buy your respect a raise price the price uh, the uh, the price that buy your reserve the price that buy your plan to pay or wish to pay beside that one that means buyer cannot pay okay based on the cost benefit principle if the reservation price exceeds okay a buyer reservation price exceeds the actual market price the consumer will purchase that goods buyer reservation buyer reservation price can be benefit the price that the buyer pay is cost okay maybe you uh, you don't you are not so clear right right now about reservation price i can give you example for example you want to buy computer or let's say phone smartphone okay you want to buy smartphone because right now uh, technology uh, maybe COVID-19 that's why smartphone or other electronic device are popular to use you want to buy smartphone and then you know when you want to buy you need to pay that's why you check you check or you count you calculate uh, the money that you have maybe the money you have in your pocket in your bank account you count together suppose that you have 800 800 dollars this is the amount that you collect all from your bank account from your pocket 800 dollars and you you don't know what is the price of smartphone in the market but you want to buy one smartphone you have eight hundred dollar in your hand, and you don't know how much is smartphone uh, in the market. And you take this hundred dollar to phone shop, and remember that you want to buy a smartphone. So how much that you pay, that you wish to pay, that you plan to pay to buy a smartphone? Amount that you wish to pay and you want to buy, uh, want to pay is eight hundred dollar. That's why eight hundred dollar is your reservation price 
the price that you wish to to pay the high price that you wish to pay the high price that you plan to pay this is we call buyer reservation price but when you go to the market you go to pawn shop the seller say that the phone that you want to buy the price is only 650 the price of phone that you want to buy is only 650 can you buy yes you can buy okay so i can say this is benefit this is your cost if benefit greater than cost you can do that's why automatically you can you can buy one phone you can buy one smartphone together you still have money how much 150 150 still has money okay so this is quantity this is price This is price, this is quantity. One phone with uh, 150. But if the price goes up to 700, so you still buy one phone, but the quantity, one phone, but is, you have less money, only 100 left. That's why. When the price goes up, you can see the quality will come low. But when the price continues to go up, 800. So you can buy a smartphone, but you still have zero dollar. So right now, only one smartphone without money left. But when the price goes up, up to 850. So quality will be zero. Why zero? Based on cost benefit principle because of yes uh, because of uh, extra extra cost greater than extra benefit oh based on cost benefit uh, analysis because of the benefit 800 but the cost is 850 that's why you cannot do it okay so based on buyer so now what is buyer reservation price buyer reservation price is the price the highest price that buyer wish to pay or plan to pay to buy goods services how much they wish to pay they plan to pay it depends on amount of money that they wish to pay or they plan to pay so what what is the cost for buying something the cost of buying something is price of that thing that they pay. Okay, that they pay. If they pay, actually market price. Market price is cost. The amount of money in their pocket is benefit. Okay, so based on this one, when the price goes up, positive. Quantity goes down, negative. So one positive, one negative. When we multiply to each other, this is negative slope. Okay. So, once again, at higher reservation prices, the benefit will exceed the cost for a smaller quantity than a lower price. A smaller quantity, okay, like a yes, smaller quantity when the price, uh, when the price goes up, goes up, goes up. So quantity will go down, go down. But if you have higher reservation price not 800 maybe 1000 8000 so benefit become uh, become less and less and less okay so if higher is the price before i i i uh, example 800 but if you have 1000 if you buy one phone seven uh, 650 you buy one phone and you still have 350 but if the price increase, fire phone increase, increase, 
So one force still buy but amount of money that you still in your pocket become lower, 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 lower. Okay, this is higher raising price. Benefit will exit the cost for smaller. But for higher, no. Benefit cannot be exit. Benefit is low down, low down. For example, I said 800, but the price 850, you cannot do it. When good sells for high price, it will satisfy the cost benefit, a uh, cost benefit test for fever buyers. Then when it sell a low price, it means when the price of one go become more expensive, cost benefit only uh, for the few few buyers. Maybe you can say who few buyers, few buyer here refer to richer because they can pay high price then lower price okay so richer uh, they are in price tend to be higher than uh, poorer okay than poorer for example uh, if you take money in a richer they want to buy a villa or they want to buy a nice uh, car that's why they plan to pay high price but if you are if you are about poorer they have less money to pay for high for that goods, but they, that's why they cannot buy. If they cannot buy, only few buyers satisfy with high price. But many many buyer will not satisfy with high price. That's why they cannot buy this goods because high price higher than they are reservation price. Okay. So again, demand curve because. Uh, Demand curve is negative slope because of three reasons. Substitution effect, income effect, buyer's reservation price. This is substitution effect, income effect, buyer's reservation price. Okay, this is demand curve for pizza. Not for Apple, this is for pizza from textbook. Buyer reservation price is the largest amount of money that why buyer will, uh, would be willing to pay. So what is buyer reservation price? Buyer reservation price is the highest price that buyer wish to pay or plan to pay or willing to pay. Okay. So if you have a demand curve, how can you say something about the demand curve? How can to make, how can you interpret demand curve? If you have demand curve, you can use two methods to interpret or to say something about demand curve. You can use horizontal interpretation, horizontal, or vertical interpretation. But choose only one horizontal or vertical because both of them uh, explain the same or interpret the same way the same meaning not the same way okay horizontal if you using horizontal interpretation you use you start from horizontal axis go to the line and go to vertical axis for example Consumers wish to buy 16,000 slide pizza per day. 16,000 slide pizza per day. When the price two dollar per slide, point C. Or vertical. When the price four dollar per slide, consumer wish to buy point A. Eight thousand slide per day. Okay. So here you can use horizontal or what they call interpretation. Which one? Don't use both because both of them explain you uh, saying something that uh, the same meaning, but not similar way. Why not similar ways? Horizontal start from quantity to the curve and to price. Vertical start from the price to the curve and to quantity. Okay. I have now is demand curve for pizza. So, I think that some of you or most of you still remember from appendix one. If you have graph, how can you find equation? 
okay you have graph how can you find equation you can find equation from me for me by using this graph the one can find okay I got I assume that you got the point from appendix chapter one but don't go to appendix chapter one and use concept from a slide or from movie but not from your brain or not from your memory to find the equation for me use your memory your understanding without watching uh, appendix chapter one movie and you can find without watching appendix chapter one movie and it, it means that you can uh, got the point but if you cannot find without watching that means you still not get the point okay so that's why you need to uh, watch again and study again okay exercise 3.1 figure 3.1 this is figure 3.1 this week uh, this uh, this, this one figure 3.1 the same thing here uh, demand curve for pizza figure 3.1 what is marginal buyer reservation, uh, reservation price when the quantity pizza sold at uh, is a uh, 10,000 slide per day for the same demand curve this is 3.1 again what will be the quality of pizza demanded at the price 2.5 uh, the last per slide so you can see this one when the when the quantity is 10,000 where is 10,000 maybe if you if you don't see the measurement here you cannot find 10,000 because horizontal analysis the number scaling is only 8 12 and 16 but oh, they are not 8 alone it's 8,000 12,000 or 16,000 so where is 10,000 Ten thousand exactly middle between eight and twelve thousand. Okay, that's why. Question one: What uh, method of interpretation that you use in order to answer uh, question one? And question two: What method of interpretation that you use in order to answer two? Because we, based on this slide, we have two horizontal interpretation what they call interpretation okay because of question one they tell us uh, the information give, uh, give to us is called quantity they ask price but they they tell us uh, quantity that's why we can use horizontal because horizontal start from quantity to the curve and to the price that's why when 10,000 exactly between 8,000 and 12,000 middle exactly middle so middle here middle between a and b middle in between 3 and 4 that's why price will be 3.5 the last per slide okay 3.5 the last per slide how about uh, question number two question number two uh, the question uh, tell us about price asking for quality if tell us about price and asking quality you start from vertical so vertical start from yes uh, uh, 2.5 is exactly between uh, middle exactly middle between 2 and 3 2.5 middle between 2.3 and go to the curve middle between uh, B and C and then we go to the uh, horizontal horizontal between 12 and 16,000 that's why this is 14,000 okay so I have the other question for you so what is the price if the quantity is 7,250 slides per day that's why 7,200 slides per day uh, 50 per day is not exactly middle between this point 70,000 
is something less than 8,000 around here. But I don't know exactly where, which point is it. That's why you can move. That's why you can not use this or uh, this one because we don't know for uh, for sure. Uh, Eighteen uh, seven thousand two hundred fifty. Where is it? The, I just know that it is less than eight thousand. That's why you can uh, do with this one, but uh, for something for the last something. I don't know what, what how much exactly. We don't know. If we don't know, the best way to find the, uh, the best way to answer question three and question four. You need to find equation. If you found equation, suppose that you already found equation, you just reflect it. Seven thousand two hundred fifty. This is seven thousand two hundred fifty. You can find the price because you know A. You know B. What is A? A y intercept. This is what they call intercept. B. This is slope. That's why in order to define this equation, you need to find intercept point and a slope. Where do you know equation number three? If you know uh, Q, you can find P. Question number four, they uh, they tell us P. If you P, you can find Q. Okay. So question number three and number four here, you need to find equation and then you can find the answer but however question number one number two from the textbook you need to maybe you don't need to find equation because 10 is exactly between 8 exactly midpoint between 8 and 12 2.5 dollar is exactly middle between 2 and 3 that's why you can use uh, we call projection methods from horizontal to vertical from vertical to horizontal but this one this ones you cannot use uh, like the same way as you did in question one question two that's why you need to find equation when you find equation you know q equal uh, p equal to something something q that's why you know q you can find p and you know p you can find q okay now we are going to uh, supply supply curve or supply it, when you look at this one, it's similar to demand, but demand, this is demand and this is buy. So what is supply? What is supply? Supply of any good or services is the quantity, QS, of that good or services that suppliers, sellers, producers, are willing and be able to sell at a given price in a given period of time maybe it's not uh, new for you given price in a given period of time okay you can go to demand demand this is demand this is buy but supply this is supply this is sell when you know supply for one condition one time because supply is about quality supply and price and the other condition about the other quantity and the price that's why if you connect two points together you got supply curve okay uh, remember that from demand airport airport uh, example you can get concept from that one but demand curve uh, when the price the lower uh, consumer buy more or when the price higher consumer buy less the opposite from demand curve supply curve like this one supply curve is a schedule or a graph that represents the relationship between quantity of goods services that buy us uh, that suppliers seller or user wish to sell at any given price so supply curve, if you are a supplier or seller, you want to sell more when the price go, go up. Okay? When the price go up, you want to sell more. So this is supply curve, this is supply, this is supply curve. In order to draw supply curve, at least you need two, three points of supply. Then you connect to each other, we call supply curve. When you have supply curve, you need to know the property of supply curve. A property of supply curve as the price of goods services goes up goes up 
goes up the mean plus. The quality supply that seller supplier wish to sell will increase. Okay, so price goes up, shoe also goes up. So when price goes down, shoe also goes down. The property of supply curve is opposite of the property of demand curve. Demand curve negative slope, negative slope, but supply curve positive slope. Why positive slope? Because go up, go up, plus plus together, plus multiplied by plus is plus. If the price go down, quantity supply go down. That's why minus multiplied by minus, still plus. Therefore. Uh, a funda uh, fundamental properties of supply curve is that it is upward sloping or positive slope with respect to the price. Okay, when you have a uh, property of supply curve together with condition condition here, you will have law of supply. The property of supply curve is reflected from law of supply. Law of supply states that when are the factors or are the determinants, you can check on slide number 53. Not the same thing as uh, demand. Demand, yes, when you have, you can see the same sentence, but those factors are not the same thing between supply factors and demand factor. Okay, so in this case, you can go to slide. Uh, number 53. When are the factors or other determinants on slide 53 are remaining the same or constant, no change, price and quantity supply of a good are directly or positively related to each other. In other words, when the price paid by buyers for a good rises, increasing, increases, then the supplier increase their supply of that good in the market. Okay, so when the price of that good in the market increasing, the supplier will sell more, wish to sell more, or plan to sell more. Like demand curve, economists usually put price on what they call what they call and quantity on horizontal. This is horizontal. So what does supply curve look like? For example, supply curve of pizza tells us that when the price of pizza raises, sellers will sell more slices, more quantities of pizza. Okay, see? Supply curve, demand curve, when you draw it, you use only uh, one concept price on vertical, quantity on horizontal. This is supply curve for pizza, figure 3.2. Okay. This is some rise. When the price to the last per slide, supplier seller wish to sell only eight thousand. But when the price goes up, goes up, supplier wish to sell more and more. Supply curve. Okay. This is an explanation for this point. Uh, explanation about that point. So when you look at supply curve, it's different from demand curve. Demand curve negative slope when you when you draw it, drop down like this one. Supply curve, positive slope, when you draw it, go up like this one. Good. So positive because uh, Q increase, uh, P increase, Q also increase. If P drop down, Q also drop down. This is supply. However, demand curve, when P goes up, Q go down. Or when P go down, Q goes up. Just a buyer differ with respect to the amounts that they are willing to pay for pizza, sellers also differ with respect to the, their object cost for supplying pizza. That's why when we're talking about supplier, supplier care about the cost. Cost in terms of money is okay, you can count, you can estimate, you can calculate. But cost is not money, it's not easy to calculate. The cost is not money, it's object cost. Maybe we got uh, uh, the point uh, from chapter one, what is object cost of what action? Will object cost for producing additional, additional, additional slide of pizza increasing or decrease? So 
So when we're talking about additional, we're talking about marginal cost in this case. Marginal object cost. Because let's say why it is additional is not extra. Before I produced hundred slides of extra, but now I want to produce more ten. Ten more. If I want to produce ten unit more, how much I pay extra cost for this extra ten unit. Okay? Go up or go down from one uh, level to the next level. For those who limited education, work experience, option cost, or selling visa relatively low because such individuals typically do not have a lot of high paying alternatives. That's why if you know only how to view pizza, you, you don't know how to work or in the other field or the other sector, the other skill. That's why using pizza is uh, maybe the best for you because relatively low cost. But if you have uh, the other skill, maybe pizza, okay, it's not really good for you. That's why using pizza is a uh, relative higher cost. For others, the object cost of selling pizza is a moderate value, moderate level, not, not really low, not really high. Okay, that's why when talking about supplier, supplier care about cost. Cost in terms of money is, 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 is really okay because they can estimate, they can calculate, they can find easily. But cost in terms of not money, it's not easy for them to calculate, especially because uh, object cost. Why need to produce more? Because uh, naturally or typically, uh, producer they don't want to have the same size, same size for the whole life of business running. They want to have bigger, bigger, bigger. That's why they want to produce more product, more product, more product. Okay. So when they produce more, they pay more. More money they can find, but more of it cost really not really easy to find. That's why you need to study this one. So I'm not telling much about that one because of the cost concept from chapter one. But in this case, for the one who have limited uh, education, that means not really high and less working experience. That's why they cannot find the other uh, job besides producing or selling pizza. That's why selling pizza in this case relatively low compared with the other products. But if you have higher education, have too much work experience, so maybe producing pizza or selling pizza is relatively high cost. Because why high cost? Because you lose the other job. The other job maybe get higher. Okay. Because in this case, low or high, if you compare selling pizza with selling the other product. If you think that uh, selling pizza is low cost, that means the other product you cannot do well. That's why less. So you get pizza, you give up the other job. The other job that have provide you less money, that's why low cost for pizza, low actually cost for pizza. But for the other, they have higher level or maybe richer uh, in terms of experience or higher level, the uh, actually cost of selling pizza, moderate or higher. That's why they can find the other job not selling pizza. For still other like rock star, a professional, uh, uh, let's, it it prohibitively high of the cost. Rock star, they if they, they 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 ask rock star to sell pizza, they say no. Selling pizza is high of the cost for them. That's why they say no. In parts because of these differences in of the cost among people. The daily supply curve of pizza will be upward sloping with respect to the price. Okay, upward sloping with respect to the price because when price goes up, supplier will produce more and supply more. When price goes down, supplier cut their production and supply less. Sellers must receive a higher price to produce additional units of product or pizza in order to cover higher option cost for each additional unit. This is, remember that, marginal cost and marginal revenue. Okay, this is also from uh, chapter one. So when uh, uh, 
when we decide to take this action, when we decide to produce more additional uh, product, when so when we when we find that a uh, marginal revenue from this product higher than marginal cost from that product, that's why we will take more. However, we will produce more this product when the marginal cost higher than marginal benefit or marginal revenue. Seller reservation price. Maybe you already understood from uh, buyer reservation price. Buyer reservation price is the price that buy is the highest price that buyer wish to to pay or plan to pay. However, buyer reservation price is the lowest price, the lowest price that buyer, uh, sorry, that seller wish to receive. Okay, seller reservation price is the lowest or smallest price or smallest amount of money for which a seller would be willing to sell an additional unit of product. So differently, buyer's reservation price is a higher price that buyer wish to pay. However, seller reservation price is the lowest price that seller wish to receive, receive from selling goods. Okay, if you have supply curve, you also have two methods to interpret or to uh, explain. Horizontal interpretation, vertical interpretation. Horizontal, uh, start from Q to the curve and to price. Vertical, we start from price to curve and to Q. Maybe I'm not saying again, you can say by your own. Okay, the other exercise is exercise 3.2. Uh, In figures 3.2, this one or that one, same thing. This, slide, this graph and this graph the same thing. So based on this graph, when what is the price of pizza when the quantity pizza sold at ten thousand? Okay. So quantity uh, telling asking about price. So what method that you use for the same supply curve three point two? What will be the quantity of pizza supplied at a price three point five? Okay. So 10,000, where is 10,000? Exactly middle between 8,000 and 12,000. 10,000 to the curve to the price, 2.5. If 3.5, 3.5 is exactly middle between 3 and 4 dollar. 3.5 to the curve, 3.5 to the curve, and from the curve to the quantity, 14,000. How about question number 4 and question number 4? Uh, some, no, three and number four. Number three, what is the price equality? Eighteen thousand three hundred fifty. If the price question number four, what is the quantity supply? If the price five point fifteen. Eighteen thousand three hundred fifty. Eighteen thousand around there. I don't know which one is in thousand three hundred fifty. You don't know exactly. That's why you cannot find uh, exactly the price. So how to find exactly the price? You need to find equation. So equation again, this is positive slope. That's why the slope is positive. Okay. So find equation from this one, and then you can uh, substitute the quantity into our equation, and you can find price. And if you got equation, you can substitute price, and you can find uh, quantity. Okay. This is for you practice. You need to practice again uh, 3.1 for demand and this slide 3.2 for supply. I will uh, check or I will, I'm waiting for seeing uh, your answer. Okay, so I stop by uh, this one equilibrium. Maybe we'll start from next week.